Hey everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host Mr. Bevers. Today we've got another box of Unstable. That's right, it's time for me to open a box of Unstable without being in a battle. Just open it for the fun. This is it. This is going to be me just opening the cards and having a good time. So hopefully you guys enjoy. This set um, definitely was a lot of fun to play. Um, I've drafted it twice. Um... The battles are a little bit harder to sort of to handle with these ones because the price the price points on all of these boxes are so kind of all over the place. Um, the cool thing about these boxes is that you can put them nice and you can sort of bend the box so that it's this way. And we'll go this way though, so you guys can sort of see. All right, who's ready? You guys ready? All right, Knight of the Kitchen Sink, a Shelephant, Rumors of My Death, and we got an X to start things off. This card is really cool. It's uh, it's also quite rulesy. So it's as long as X is in your is in X's owner's opponent's hand, X's owner may cast X and activate X's abilities. That opponent can't cast X and players with his or her uh, and plays with his or her hand revealed. So you can play X from your hand for two mana. Then you can pay two. Yeah. So the idea is that you put it onto the table and then you pay a black and a blue and tap it and you put it into your opponent's hand. Then you can start paying five to cast other cards from their hand. It's kind of a super weird card, but also neat. And we got ourselves an island, good old full art lands, and then we have a sap sucker and a widget contraption, and a foil full art vampire token. There's so many different piles for this set because you've got your commons, your uncommons, your contraptions, your tokens, your full art lands, and then of course your rares. We got another Shelephant, a Half Kitten Half, Super Duper Death Ray, and an Angelic Rocket. This one's a crazy card for a host. Eight mana, four four. But it, when it comes to the battlefield, you may destroy a target non land permanent. And then, for instance, if you put Half Kitten Half Rocket on it, it's whenever you're dealt damage, uh, you get to destroy a permanent, a non land permanent, which is pretty crazy. And then a full art forest. Nice. And we got a mythic hard hat area. So a mythic contraption there. And a foil full art thopter token. This set is a lot of fun to play. Have you guys played it all? Let me know below in the comments if you managed to get a chance to play any of it. Proper laboratory attire. Steam powered. This is one of the best augment cards you can get. And the reason being is because it's literally just a pay a mana cost of five. So five of any color, and it activates whatever the second half is, which is amazing. Because a lot of the times the triggers are, you know, when this happens, or if this happens, or if this thing happens. Burn, right? This is you just pay five, and you can just do it. So it's like you don't have to worry about trying to trigger it. You just have to, as long as you have the mana to cast or to pay it, you can just play it and the fact that it's a four generic to put it means you can go on any in any deck so whether it doesn't matter what color you're playing which is why it's nice and then we got a steam flogger temp Ooh, we hit an urza i now have three copies of this planeswalker so i've opened three boxes of uh this set and i've hit urza every time full art planes headbanger Division table. So let's talk about Urza and the spirit token with full art. All black bordered tokens so far. Urza is crazy. You go over to askurza.com and you click plus one, minus one, or minus six. And the way it works is it'll randomly generate you a plus ability, a minus ability, or an ultimate ability from any planeswalker that had been printed previously. Sly Spy more or less 
Aerial Toastmaster. Ooh, a foil secret base. This is an interesting card, so it's like it adds a mana of any color that could but it can only be spent on cards that have the same watermark. So that's kinda cool. And we got a as luck would have it as our rare. Hexproof. This is the one where it's like, you know, you you know, you put a luck counter on here. Um so you roll a die, and then you put a number of counters on it equal to the result. If the then if there's a hundred or more on here, boom. And it's whenever you roll a die. So if you if you build a deck around rolling dice, you can get there pretty quickly. Sundering Fork, Buzz Buggy as our contraptions, and another black bordered token, which is an angel with full art. My goodness, looks so pretty. The foil tokens, they really went above and beyond in this set with the tokens like just just phenomenal the fact that they put the art on the back as well to make it a full art so that if you don't like the foil right like because there's a lot of people out there that don't like foils i mean there's a lot of people that do like foils but there are people that don't um slice by again five finger discount slaying mantis this card is hilarious every time i've seen it played it's never hit anywhere near the table or not necessarily the table, but nowhere near, like, the opponent's side of the table. We got another foil. A foil squirrel dealer. This card, I hate this card, because there are people out there that love squirrels. And as soon as someone finds out that you love squirrels, every time they play this card, they'll ask you. It doesn't matter whether you are, you know, you know, like, they could play four copies of this and they'll ask you every time, because they know that you're going to say yes. Damn people gaming this system. Better than one. person outside the game becomes your teammate dog snail engine and an auto key is our contraptions an elemental token black bordered flirt on the back all black bordered tokens so far we're at nine minutes let's see if we can pick up the pace a little party crasher Steam Flogger Service Rep, first pick, and Masterful Ninja. This card's interesting. It's like a, you can attack people with it while it's in your hand still without casting it. It's interesting. We do have a foil there. We have a foil. We have a foil behind this forest, so it's a foil contraption. But we got a full art forest. Oh, it's not a foil contraption. It's a foil rare, and the foil rare is serpentine, or serpentine, or however you want to pronounce it. And uh, this is one of the best uh, augments next to the uh, next to that uncommon that I showed you. And the reason is because this is rare. So I would say of the uncommons, I like the the steam steam powered one. Um, also, there's another. There's a robot one, automaton or something like that, in the uncommon slot, which is pretty good. But this is a rare, and so. Of course, it gives, essentially, your host creature landfall, which is pretty sweet. So there's our rare, and then we got another rare contraption, Refibulator. And we got just a regular Dictation Quillograph, and another Black Border token, which is a Sapperling. My goodness. So we hit a Foil Rare, we've hit a Myth, we've hit two Mythics, technically, a Mythic Contraption and Urza. We are on point. We've hit three foils already which is pretty crazy low blobber ninja give me five this is the one that gives you life we got another foil a foil uncommon goblin habitat haberdasher haberdasher yeah haberdasher and we got a three-headed goblin in as our rare this card's cool triple strike essentially it gets first normal and last strike that's kind of cool. A full art planes, treadmill, and applied aeronauts, and yet another black bordered token. Beast, A little beastie man. All right. What else we got here? There's our rhino. Kindly cognition. Contraption cannon. Oh, man, I wanted this card. I haven't opened this yet, so that's sweet. Sword of Dungeons and Dragons. Very good card. 
Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from rogues and clerics. Um, whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, create a 4-4 gold dragon creature token with flying and roll a d20. Um, if you roll a 20, repeat this process. Crazy nonsense. Very cool card, though. I'm, I'm super stoked that I got that. I love... I play a lot of D&D. Uh, well, not... I don't play a lot, but I do enjoy playing D&D. Um, Mountain. We got a foil contraption. So we got a foil boom flinger. And then an arms depot. And then a mandatory friendship shackles. And another black border token. Elemental. Little elemental man. We've had black border tokens the entire way so far. Maybe we'll cut this into two videos of Unstable so that it's not super, super long. Steam Floggery. Inhumaniac. Crowstorm. Spike. There's Spike. So, uh, this is the card that lets you basically pull in cards from outside of the game that are banned or restricted. So you want to play those banned and restricted cards that you can't play anymore? You uh, just play Spike in your uh, commander deck. And then there you go. Boom. Done, right? Oh, I, Spike might be banned, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Swamp, Full Art Swamp. I think that's our first Swamp. Guest List Rare. So another rare contraption. Lack, Lackey Recycler. And another Full Art Token. Black Border Zombie. Boom. There he is. So, so far, all black border tokens. Pretty, pretty crazy. Boom. Side quest. This is an interesting one. It's like you can, you basically, you put it in front of somebody else who's playing. And then you get to keep it. And then you, and then once it comes back to you, you get it back. Socketed Sprocketeer. This card is great, by the way, for those decks that want to roll dice. Inhumaniac. And Animate Library. This is the card that DTN was looking for. Um, he wanted to make his commander deck into, you know, a, you know, 70, 70, or whatever have you. Whatever's left in your deck by when you play it, I guess. I don't know. Like, maybe a 60-60. Maybe even a 50-50. I think that's probably fine, right? If you've gone through half your deck by that time. So there you go. That's a pretty crazy card. Makes your library into a creature. We got a foil. We got a full art island, and then we have accessories to murder and applied aeronauts. And our first silver border token is a rogue, little rogue token two two. And see, it's not full art on the back. It's instead got some sort of ridiculous uh, ad. So this one is a one of those Mad Libs or whatever. Complete the statement. Now that. Blank is complete. The world will blank at the blank of my master plan. Nothing will stand against the blank of his blank. So, you know, fill it in. Fill it in, right? Alright, what do we got? There's some garbage here. That's what we got. Okay, Party Crasher as our first uncommon. Overt Operative. Socketed Sprocketeer, and the countdown is at one. This is an interesting card, too. It lets you play a basically a sub-game in your game, except that you both start at one health. So you both start at one health, and you play a sub-game, and so basically you set all the cards that you already have in play and everything off to the side. Not necessarily off to the side, but you can leave it just where it is. Then you take your deck, and you draw seven new cards, and uh, you play another game. Where you have no, like you're basically starting from scratch. It's a ridiculous card. Someone played it against me in one of our drafts, and uh, yeah, it didn't go well for them. I, I murdered them, so that was good. Forest, Ooh, good old forest, and then another rare record store with a buzz buggy. Ooh, and we got a storm crow token, a foil storm crow token with, ooh, how many avian, how many crows do you see? Avian perversions. All right, we have like a bunch more packs still on this side, so maybe we will cut this into two videos since we're at the 15 minute mark already. Garbage Elemental, Monkey, Super Duper Death Ray, and Modular Monstrosity. Now, this was a card that I saw just recently, got posted on, 
I think someone posted it to Mark Rosewater's Twitter or something and was like, can this card take on like the the new stuff from Rivals of Ixalan, even though the cards aren't out yet because they've been spoiled? And he said, no, it has to be printed, which means the cards have to be out. The cards have to be out and usable by the public before you can use it. So there you go. But that doesn't mean you can't use a lot of other things. Generic recombobu- uh, recombinator and an auto key. And we got another silver border token, Fairy Spy. Ooh, look at that. We need your genius. So there's your five uh, factions, basically. The Order of the Widget, Agents of Sneak, League of Dastardly Doom, Goblin Explosioneers, and the Crossbreed Labs. Very cool, very cool. I like the fact that the ads they put on the back of the tokens for the ones that are silver bordered, um, they just like kind of made like a bunch of joke ads rather than putting like actual ads. Steam Flogger Service Rep, Rhino, Contraption Cannon, and Very Cryptic Command. So here you go, and ooh, is this the good one? Draw a card from an opponent's library. Copy target instant or sorcery. This is the good one. So there you go. We hit a very nice copy of Very Cryptic Command, so that's good. And we got a foil, or not a foil, but a full art mountain, twiddle stick charger, top secret tunnel, and a goat. A lawnmower goat. That's right. He's got like a lawnmower on the front of him that just feeds him grass. Who doesn't like a zero one one foil goat, right? I don't know who wouldn't. Definitely, as far as I know, goats are high, high value in the meta of every format. Low Blomber, squir- Squirrel Powered Scheme, Teacher's Pet, and Graveyard bo- uh, Busybody. So all graveyards are also your graveyards. Graveyard, Busybody, Power, and Toughness are each equal to the number of cards with flavor text in your graveyards. So she gets pretty big. And uh, also, then it allows you to do weird things, like reanimate things from your opponent's graveyards, because they're technically your graveyards now. And also, delve. You can exile their cards from their graveyard to cast delve cards, which is super strange. Dual Doom Suits, another rare contraption. And then a targeting rocket. Ooh, a foil clue. Look at that clue. Look how beautiful that looks. The full art borderless tokens are just. Very, very beautiful. I mean, hell, like, all of the cards in this set are beautiful, to be honest. Like, just the art that's been done for, like, pretty much all of these cards is just great. Staff of the Letter Magus, or Magus. Hammerfest Boomtacular. Steel Squirrel. And By No Means. By No Means. It's an enchantment. Pay two, remove a counter from a permanent you control, create a 1 1 colorless gnome artifact creature token. Pay two, sacrifice an artifact. Choose any kind of counter on a uh, counter a printed card refers to, and then put one of that counter on target permanent. Interesting. And we got a full art forest, another rare contraption, gift horse, mandatory friendship shackles. Ooh, there's our dragon token for our Swords of Dungeons and Dragons. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Mmm. Garbage Elemental. Side Quest. Goblin Haberdasher. And, ooh, another Mythic. Summon the Pack. This card is fun in draft. Um, so it says, open a sealed magic booster pack, reveal the cards, and put all creature cards revealed this way onto the battlefield under your control. They're zombies in addition to their other types. So it just lets you, like, open up a pack of whatever you have laying around. So just imagine someone's, like, at a draft at someone's house, like like Rudy's. And like, I just want to open up, uh, just give me one of those packs of, uh, you know, Urza's. Let me just open that up and and put it in to my to to, to play. Is that cool? Is that, is that cool with you? Look, think about all the number of packs that he would have laying around that you could just be like, I want to open one of those. Just can I open one of those? Planes, headbanger, division table, and a squirrel token. Ah, yeah. Who doesn't like squirrels? 
And, of course, you've got, oh, hello there. I was just reading up on the latest magic news at dailymtg.com. So there you go. An actual ad that time, except cute, with a little cute squirrely guy on the back. All right. Clock of Doom! Half Shark Half, another Slaying Mantis, and Hydra Doodle. This card is great in the right deck. I, I, it's just great in general. Two green, XX. Um, when it enters the battlefield, roll X six-sided dice. It enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter on it for the total of that result. So if you pay six, you roll two dice, right? And get, you know, the result. You pay eight, you get three dice. You pay ten, you get four dice. Sweet. It's a sweet card, especially in a deck that wants you to roll lots of dice. Mountain, Thud for Duds, Inflation Station, and the Silver Bordered Goblin Token. Which is an interesting thing. I was just heading out to Friday Night Magic. Good old Friday Night Magic. Alright, last pack from this side of the box. Let's, let's do it. Let's do this. We hit three mythics, a foil rare. Um, we've hit, what, one, two, three, four, five rares so far? Or foils, I should say. Stamp of approval, zombified, midlife upgrade, and hangman. This card is fun, too. Uh, pick a really strange, weir weird word, and your opponents will have a hell of a time guessing it, let me tell you. Unless your opponents are really, really good at hangman, I guess. Um, but you basically, you pay one and you make them have to guess one of the letters or the word. And for every one they get wrong, this guy gets bigger. So, sweet. I played him in the draft and it was pretty awesome. Another mythic, Rapid Prototyper. There you go. We hit, So we did hit another mythic before the end of this side of the box. And we've got our Brainiac token. We hit all unique tokens. We didn't hit a single... Duplicate token on this side of the box. That's pretty crazy. There you go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. Don't forget, I have a store, NerdvanaStore.ca, as well as a Patreon, where you can help support the channel, support the videos. But it also, you get sweet stuff. You get discount codes to the store. You get things like grab bags. You get things like booster boxes, bundles. All depends on how much you think you can contribute. And if you can't contribute anything, thank you so much for just watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.